Guys, it's time for my first mods with the Ecto. We're going right to some Proline G8 Trenchers. We are going to a Hobbywing 1080 ESC and Flasky GT5. Take a look. The thing about this truck, it's all out in the open. So all I'm gonna leave is the servo and the motor. Receiver, that's not even in a box, that comes out. Wires kind of flopping all over the place. I'll try to zip tie those in place somewhere. That ESC, although I think it has potential, I really need the tuner, I don't have that yet. So let's go ahead and look at what we've got going in it. We got the Quick Run 1080. That's just an awesome $42, $43 uh, ESC. Thing's just phenomenal. G8 compound trenchers. These are awesome. I've had these for about two weeks looking for a place to put them and all of a sudden, hey, my truck shows up. So we're good to go there. Then the Fly Sky GT5. Man, I have beat this poor radio up. But you know what? These things are awesome. So let's go ahead and get to the installs. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the tire since that's the most time consuming. These tires have potential. They need much softer foams. I don't have the softer foams handy, so I'm just simply gonna put these on and see what we get. As far as the bead locks on the wheels go, you just simply take those six bolts out and the whole thing comes apart. Nice and simple. That wheel hub does come off. With all the screws out, it's this simple. And you just peel that right out there, just like that. And then you just simply get to put the new tire on. Tires went on without hardly any issue at all. The wheels are vented, so yeah, it should be pretty good to go. I like the looks of that. I really do. Now it's time to the radio and ESC. Interestingly enough, this is how the wires are out of the box. I am eventually gonna go ahead and change the motor out, but I wanna see what it's got. So I'm gonna get these unplugged. I'm gonna expand the male parts for the uh, motor itself and make it work in the four millimeter bullets just for this drive. Well, 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 would you look at that? Move the shocks to the top hole and turn the collars up so it is down as far as it can go in stock form. Let's see, steering. I left it at six volts because I gotta look up the specs on that servo, but check this out. I can actually crawl now. Still think, still think I'm gonna need a little bit of something with the motor, something with the gearing, but anyway, here we go. GT5 is in, I found a longer antenna to get the wire up in there. 1080 in place, 3S again, simple and easy. I have not opened this up, so that is motor forward or the motor to the spur gear, that's all stock. Like I said, I just expanded those, got those in there because I just want to see what that motor's got, you know? Um, okay, I guess it's time to go take it out for a drive. I got a feeling these tires are going to do good. Okay, guys, let's go. Well, all right, let's give it that drive. All right, that's a little bit better. Now, with it sitting low... With it sitting low, I can already tell. Wow. Okay, either this motor needs to come out for something a little bit better, or it needs a much smaller pinion gear. So, either way, you guys already know the motor's coming out anyway. So. But I might, I might just try to do a, oh, that's nice. I might even try to do a comparison, but I like the stance of this thing being low. Okay, that made a nice, a really nice difference. Why wow, it's so fast? Let's see here. Got a better drag brake with a 1080. The tires are appear to be a huge improvement. Got a little bit of uh, deflection right there. The back tire is deflecting nicely. Now, as these tires break, well, it's good. As these, wow, okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm kind of impressed. Uh, as these tires break in, 
they are going to get softer for sure. Okay. Yeah, I got to get a... Uh, <laughs> all right hey gotta fix that mirror okay anyway definitely gotta do something with that motor i like the tires on here Let's see if we can make a climb up this i like the stance of it there we go that was nice Yeah, definitely think I'm going to ah, want to make the stock motor work, but I know I'm not going to be able to. But then again, I should probably try that smaller pin. Let's see here. <laughs> it's still got some movement for what this is supposed to be. I also want to try the uh, gearing in the transmission properly termed underdrive the back a little bit more let's go ahead and jump on twin ridges i mean we might as well it is kind of weird seeing the body inside of the back tires let's see what we got here that was nice nice easy climb up to that oh when you get over to that point and the belly is on the other ridge you're pretty much toast now i've got some brass uh, steering knuckles coming for it i ordered some brass chubs but i messed up i think therefore they tend to hopefully they'll bolt on if not i'll put them up and save them for who knows what i never really know what i'm going to end up with it gets up on that really nice <laughs> oh wow if i've ever seen a lucky bounce it was that that was awesome if i've ever seen a lucky bounce you know that was it and let's go ahead and get dropped in i'm dropping in a little bit better than what i did last time let's see here it was a little bit quiet for a second and now i hear the bugs coming back i'm gonna try the uh left side here See if I got enough to get that. Yeah. yeah. I'll put those other overdrive gears in the front. I was about to try to hit dig to cut that around. <laughs> uh, and I put those overdrive gears in, the, or no, excuse me, I keep saying the wrong thing. But I put the gears in the transmission to give it more overdrive effect. I think this thing maybe come to life even more I mean it's doing good now before it had zero chance at this uh, okay let's try that again I know it can get closer than that went up twin ridges the throttle control is so much better I think it's a combination of the 1080 ESC and that bumper just got me just a little bit Noticing a few spots where uh, I could use a little more steering power. I read online the guy was running it at 7.4 with the 1080, and the servo was taking it, so I may try that. Now, look, made it a lot further. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to try to bring it forward and drop that in. Now, when I put this thing out here, box stock, the control was just so, I want to say bad, but it was just not up to par here. Now, when this tire drops in, it's if it doesn't pull that front end out of the groove and in the run, I'll, I'll be surprised. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. It's out. I'm going to try to back up and save it. Well, it got a lot further. I got a feeling with a few more mods to this thing 
it'll make it right across. What do you think guys? The mods did a world of difference. The 1080 ESC, the GT5, cause I can actually put throttle curves on it and all that. And the tires, the tires did great. Now, we're driving this thing around, I immediately noticed the control was better. The startup was better. Uh, everything was better. Moving the shocks to the top holes, adjusting the uh, collars up to bring everything down, really made the stance a lot better. Or the height and all that helped out with the center of gravity. I still may try something with the DSM strap. So just to kind of control that front a little bit, kind of keep it from pulling all the way out. Even though this thing actually done really, really good. Very impressed with it. Uh, seeing the tires up over the body right here is kind of odd. May take some getting used to or a pair of scissors. Not sure. Uh, it got an awesome hop up twin ridges. Um, usually when you get over there to that side, this is the first one I've ever seen to actually get a lucky hop and make it from that corner. Never seen that done before, but this thing got it. Uh, crack of doom on the nasty. Eh, that's another story there. No chance. <laughs> it did at least get across, but when that whole, that obstacle, it's hard to show it on camera, but it's all at an angle. And then you have a big hole kind of undercut. So if the tire gets into the undercut, it just simply pulls the right out of the groove. Once the right is out of the groove, it's usually over with. And uh, it's just a tough climb. I thought about adding some concrete in there just to get rid of the undercut. But then that'll really take away the difficulty of that obstacle. Takes away the uh, accomplishment of getting it. So I think I'm going to leave it alone. But anyway, guys, hopefully you liked the video. We'll put a link to the tires, the ESC, the radio down below. Because that's all I did. That's all I've invested in the vehicle at this point. Um, probably going to do something with the pinion gear soon. But anyway, guys, uh, let me go ahead and get quiet on this. Check that description. Links for all this stuff is down there. Amain, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. They are affiliate links. Make sure you guys check those out. Use those links to help support the channel. I appreciate it more than you can imagine, really. Um, so, guys, let's end it with a check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. I'm going to make a song about that one day. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.